Hi guys, uh, in this video I'm going to show you the Cycles Journal. So this is a journal for any woman that wants to track her period and also like the cycles of the moon. So if you're into natural birth control or you know the, there's a whole movement on um, fertility awareness, this is great for that. So this is also a journal, like I said, for people that are into like the moon cycles and it kind of helps you sync, the, not really sync the two, but kind of, you know, work with both of them. So I'm going to go over what this journal is about. Um, this page is a good page to read. So in this journal, you will celebrate your fluxes and flows, allow space and intention to hear and process your body's wisdom, devote time to self-care, love and empowerment. Prioritize tracking and integrating your cycle as a regular part of your life. Bring balance into your life by uplifting your inner voice. Notice your patterns and take some blame off yourself. Connect deeper to yourself and others through this healing journey. And follow the moon as a guide and know that you are not in this alone. Doesn't that sound great? So first of all, what I want to do is show you how big this book is. It's really thick. It's it's a 2021 planner journal, so it's for the whole year, and I believe they are going to do one next year, too. I'm not quite sure if this is the first year that they've made this, but I'm definitely going to buy this every year. So I'm going to read through the table of contents here. It's got reference, wisdom, and rituals. So lunar and menstrual influence, the moon and astrology, Anatomical diagrams, healthy menstrual parameter, parameters and myths, fertility awareness, sustainable bleeding, honoring your body and the earth's body, tips and tricks to help you track how to use this journal, letter of devotion and 2021 intentions, where you're starting, moon cycle nutrition, vaginal de-armoring, herbal allies for painful cycles, moon time ritual and tarot spread, movement journey, Release and Reclamation Ritual, Sacred Cacao Heart Opening Medicine, Connecting to Nature and Your Own Nature, Cyclical Remedies Botanical Healing, Ritual Bath and Meditation for Shadow Working, The Voice of the Womb, Sex Magic Rituals to, nour to Nourish Yourself, Letter of Reflection and 2021 Review, Healing Resource Library, and How to Reuse Your Journal, and About the Creator and What's Next. So... There's every month of the year here, monthly cycle overview, daily spreads, and cycle reflections. This book is jam-packed with information. This is way more than just a journal. This is just amazing. So here's the, all about the moon, astrology, themes and energy of each sign, the uterus. Um, if, you're, if you're new to, if you're a young woman and you don't know much about your period, get this journal. This is worth more than any anything I learned in school. Like, there are so many myths, and they go over them here. Um, natural birth control. So, this is a whole subject on its own, and I'm not going to go over the details in this video, because this is just to show why this is a good journal, but it's just incredible information. This, And I think, I want to say that this planner journal was only maybe $30, maybe 40 I don't think it was much more than that, but it's so worth it because of the information that you learn. So there's a section here on how to use this journal. Um, there's a lot of parts to it, a lot of, a lot of things to write down, so there's all these different um, sections here. Um, they give you the sun sign, the calendar month. Um, each chart starts on the new moon, which I just love because I am really into the moon cycles and I really think that it should be that way. I think we should start, I mean, I know we can't change it the way it is now, but I, I wish that we could start the new moon, um, start each month on the new moon. So there's moon sign symbol, moon phase drawing, next sun sign using this spread, day of the month, cycle day, symptoms and habits to track. It's just got everything. And here's the daily space pages. So there's the moon phase, menstrual phase, cycle reflection, moon cycle, cycle day one, self-exams, patterns and standout days, temperature, weather and mood, reminders, space to write, lunar phase, energy and intentions, planning and preparing for the next cycle. 
So I'm going to I'm going to go to the pages here that don't have my writing on them. All right. So this is what a typical spread is going to look like. Like I said at the at the top here, it starts with the new moon. So each of these is the moon phases, and then on top of those is the sign that each moon is in. These this here is the month day. So what you're going to do is put a little circle. I'll just show you quickly the page that I filled out. So you, that's what you do. So there's cycle day, basal temperature. So that is the basal temperature is something that you do in natural fertility awareness when you take your temperature every day. And that's how you can tell if you're ovulating or which phase of your cycle that you're in. That's a whole other subject, like I said, and this book helps um, you organize and track that information. So it's got, um, so that this is the temperature. And then if you were bleeding that day, discharge, cramps, bloating, fatigue, and then all these other things that are like symptoms. Um, th this top part is for physical symptoms. This is for emotional symptoms like your mood. And then there's a couple sections here for, you know, filling in your own in case they don't have one that you want. And then down here is habitual. So these are like habits. And, yeah, so there's, there's a page for each month of the year. That's what those are. And then you get to, these are the day pages. So occasionally you'll see um, what quarter the moon is in. So this says last quarter in Scorpio. So, and it's got a couple journal prompts there. And then the main days sections are going to say, you know, what day it is. Going to have a picture of the moon phase and what sign the moon is in. And then you write down here what phase your menstrual period is in. The day number of your cycle. And then it's got a little weather thing so you can circle if it's sunny or if it's cloudy. And then you write down um, physical state, mental state nourishment, care, and meds, sleep quality, and dreams. And then that blank section is for whatever you want to write. So, and then you'll come across some stuff like this where there's like quotes and information and cycle reflection at the end of each cycle. Um, it's just, yeah, it's great. I love this book. And then every so often you'll come across a page that has just more information. I don't know what vaginal dearmoring is. I didn't get to this page yet, but that'll be interesting. So here's herbal allies for painful cycles, ritual for healthy emotional flow. This is just, this journal is so worth the money. I just can't believe it. Like not only is it a journal planner tracker, but it's also got all the information you need. Like it just, it's crammed. This thing is, I'm going to go to the end here. This thing is 320 pages long. So and this is for a year, so I think when you get to the end, it tells you um, on to 2022. So they're going to have updates, and they're on Instagram, and there's the website, Cycles Journal. I will, also leave, I will also leave a link to that in the description so you can get this. I am not an affiliate. I just love journals, and I buy all the ones that I think are amazing, and I like to share what I learn. That's what this channel is all about. So, um, I just can't believe how great this is. This is so, and this is hard too. This is a nice solid, this is like a literal hardcover book. And there's even one of these little straps here. I haven't used it yet because it's also got two ribbons. So I've been using those. So yeah, that's, that's the cycles journal. It's amazing. And I'm going to be buying one of these every year for sure. So if you use this journal or if you have any questions, leave a comment down below and be sure to like this video and subscribe if you want to learn more about the journals and planners that I use. And thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.